fucking love Dr. Pepper. One of my favorite sodas. I try not to drink soda a lot, it's bad for my skin, and uh, it's not good for you. But anyways, it's another video. Um, so like I was saying, I got a knife for you, review for you guys on the United Cutlery Sub Commander uh, boot knife. This is actually meant to go in your boot. Um, though it doesn't come with a, like a pocket clip, like the uh, CRKT Minimalist that I just got that I'm going to be doing a review on once I use it for a while. So stay tuned for that. Came with a pocket clip, but this isn't a boot knife. This is meant to be a neck knife slash whatever knife. Um, this does come with a normal nylon rope or string uh, neck thing. But I swapped it out for paracord, and I plan on doing that with the minimalist just because, you know, it's tactical. No. I just do it because I like paracord, and if you don't know what paracord is, you should. It's uh, basically in here, if I were to cut this open, um, it would have seven inner strands of um, small five, uh, small nylon rope. And this can hold 550 pounds. It's 550 cord. Um, I think the outer casing can hold 100 pounds and then each the seven strings can hold seven or fifty pounds or something like that. I don't know. I'm bad at math. That's probably wrong. But basically, it's very useful in a survival situation, and it just looks cool. And you can get it in different colors on Amazon or whatever. But anyways, so get back to the knife. I just have it basically. Son of a bitch. Have it tied like this. Uh, that's basically how it was, I think. And I just have a. Uh, square knot in the back to hold it. Uh, I did see Cully Lover, he had a cool looking little thing on there. I think it looked like it was adjustable. So if I wanted to wear it, you know, hanging down more low, I could. If I wanted to hang it hanging up here more, I could. That like, seemed pre pretty cool, but I don't know how to do all those knots. But anyways, um, this was like $17, I think. Um, it is technically legal in this state, but I don't ever carry it in public. But, um, the reason it's illegal is it's considered a dagger, and it's very dangerous because it has two sides at an edge. You know, both sides are sharpened. This side's sharp, and this side's sharp. So it's a dangerous dagger and very, very deadly. Fucking idiots. Hate knife laws. They're so stupid. But anyways, it is, I believe, full tang. It feels, you know, hard in the sheath, or the handle, I mean. Um, the handle is a rubberized nylon or whatever, something like that. Um, I don't know the, oh, it's stainless steel, it's a blade steel, um, it features a fully sided, fully plain edge side, and then a plain slash partially serrated side, um, which, it came pretty damn sharp out of the box, um, since then I have sharpened it on the work sharp, and I was carrying this for a very long time, so let's give a little cut test. So you can see it's pretty damn sharp. Uh, it does get nicked up there. Let's try this side. And then the serration. So the serrations are pretty pathetic right now. And by the way, to do that, I just uh, pick one serration, do like a push cut, push cut, doing it like like that on uh, paper doesn't do really do justice, but it's very good at stabbing. As you can see, it would do some damage, probably. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, where my sheath go? There, there it is. The sheath is again a plastic nylon molded shit, I guess. Um, works pretty well. Um, I do have to say, I don't know if it's done it before, but sometimes when I carry this, if I sit down and like go like this and I sit up it'll get stuck like in my gut basically um and it will open and it'll fall out so sometimes it'll stick up and I get poked a little bit in the stomach and I'm like oh fuck not good so I don't know if it's just because it's worn now and I've had it for a long time I've had this for like two years almost and um it's just getting worn out or whatever but you know it's a great little knife and I actually got this because I saw Cutley Lover review this if you haven't seen Cutley Lover and you like knives and guns and hot sauce and zippos and all kinds of crazy shit. Check him out, he's a great YouTuber. 
uh, cut the beverage Jeff. For some reason, you are watching this. Hey, love your channel. Keep the good work, buddy. But um, anyways, um, you know, it's a great little knife. This is about I get about a three finger grip, maybe a four, but it works perfect. You know, I use it at work all the time. Well, I use it. I don't carry it anymore because I'm carrying the minimalist now. But just cut my box open. You know, cut the tape open on the box. Pop it back in the sheath. Put it back in my shirt. I keep this tucked in, um, especially at work because I don't need to be working around at a corporate level job with a neck knife. They probably wouldn't like that very much. And in fact, I've had a couple people not like get scared, but they're like, "Oh, really? You carry a neck around, a knife around your neck?" And I'm like, "Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just convenient. If it's not tucked in my shirt, it's just like this, and you just pop it out, cut your box open, pop back in, you're done." a little bit quicker than having to go to your pocket, flip up the knife, cut it, then close it, put it back in your pocket. I mean, it's not that much quicker, but, it, you know. And plus, I just like it. It's like having a lot of knives on me, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I would definitely suggest this knife, if, especially if you're just learning, looking into getting knife knives as a starter. This is a great one. I've only owned this one in the Minimalist so far. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a great one to start with. They have a couple different options for, like, blade style and, uh, or not style, but fully plain, I think. They have a couple different um, ones. I'll try to put a link in the description for this exact one, um, if I remember. But um, yeah, I definitely suggest this knife. Um, I don't know measurements. Oh, hold on. Let's see. I got the ruler. Or not ruler. Uh, what's it called? Tape measure. So it's just over two and a half inches. Um, I'm sure someone's gonna comment like your dick. Very funny. In fact, if I was at my neighbor's right now, I'm sure Mustache would say that to me. But, um, yeah. Great little knife. Definitely worth it for the price. And I would definitely suggest going on and getting it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and comment for more shit you guys want me to review or try or do or whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Joey Kong 94 out.